can't Kenzie, believe where's Pierce? Been working on that, and I think I have the right cipher created. So, what's the problem? Oh, nothing. Sid's just asking for new programs for delivering this to you. Well, give them to him, and let's get Pierce. You haven't heard what the programs are. Ew. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. In the face of the Saints, Pierce Washington was always comfortable in the public side. Some may think he's gone soft because of this. He's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Pierce, hang on! I'm coming! Saints flow! What the fuck is going on here? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or pour you a drink, ever think of that? <laughs> okay, let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. I'm just that good. That can't be good. Oh, shit. Come on, we need more guns. Hey, wait, you took my line. And there's a reason for it. Now move! Load up over there. Uh, what the hell was that noise I heard? You don't want to know, but we'll need more guns. Here's buddy, what's going on? Giant fucking hand out there! Oh, I know! Good! More guns! Uh, uh, Pierce? I'm gonna need something bigger than this. Hey, there's always the RPGs out in the pool deck. Where the hell didn't you lead with that? Cause I didn't want them blowing up the crib, okay? Here comes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot the rockets at him already! High beams? Seriously? Open wide!
okay up there? Yeah, there's a helicopter up here I'm gonna climb to. You think you'll be okay on your own? Get that thing and come pick me up. I'll be fine. This has really got a fucked up mind. Away from me! More rockets. Easy. Kenzie, where the fuck have you been? And how do you know its name? I've been trying to figure out how to make you large enough to fight that thing. What? Just get to the island with the big statue on it, okay? And get Paul's attention so he follows you. Where the hell is Pierce with that helicopter? Get in! Paul's not gonna stay down. Figured. Kenzie's got a plan, though. Kenzie does? You mind filling me in? She says we have to get to the statue. What for? Do you really think she told me? All I know is we have to get Paul to follow. To follow? She better have something big planned, then. If you're so afraid of this stuff, why were you the face of the saints? Well, the money helps. And who said I was afraid of it? This is like when something you love is trying to kill you, and you just can't stop it. Like dating. Huh, exactly. Okay, get inside the statue of Joe Magarak. Now the statue has a name? Seriously, you didn't know that. Nobody tells me anything. Let's see what old what's-his-name can do. How about a little ladle action? Don't forget about the block button. I have a block button? I labeled it for you. I don't pay attention to these things. So, do I get to drive that thing next? Keep dreaming. That's right, Joe! Kick his aluminum ass! Man, this ladle does everything! Laser eye you again. Laser eye? Fuck, you know what I mean. What the? Look out! Oh, you don't like that, do you? Don't worry, Paul. I'll pour one out 
for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make a monument. Yeah, that's a good look. That's just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right. Forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? that could use your expertise. What kind of matter? I've devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. That's... vague? I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. If he Ooh. borrows this... The moment I walked into that underground shithole the crew was setting up in, I knew it all had potential. So the Saints have been out of the game a while. So what? We had the boss and we had Johnny Gad. What more did we need? I knew I was a little rough around the edges, but I was willing to learn. Then the boss goes and throws me the Sons of Somdi. Now that was a drag. The world's greatest vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. Ah, 
the three count. Seems every time I'm here, I never have time to just sit back and enjoy the games. And I get the herp. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. This simulation better be awesome, Matt. Okay, here comes trouble. We've attracted attention. This is the army of minions? Zombies? Who has an army of zombies? You uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are a pressing matter, Matt. Whose army did you say this was? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, is this Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed, badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon-breaking Mary Sue's and... Oh, so you've read it. Well, of course I've read it! Zinyak doesn't have a chance! How long have you been working on this simulation? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three, when it seemed Nightblade may be retired. So we set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh, Matt. Sweet, sweet Matt. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. No, oh, I'm not judging. You're not? Oh, no, I am. But I really don't want to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. My condolences on your loss. Good. Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! Hello, Matt. It's good to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yes, I must be. The Cardinal is on the move. But I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close. But not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Almost 500,000 miles. Onward! To Lord Vano! So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. I do. At least a little bit? Killing zombies is never not fun, Matt. That's why they're called zombies. Well, I knew you were having a good time. Is this simulation really made for Asha? Originally, yes. Why did she reject it? Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. I'm sorry, Matt. Attacked en route to the main villain. Nicely played, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So I'm not really up to date on Nightblade fiction. Who are the Cyprian Order again? The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. 
a vampire. Uh, okay, now the Cyprian Order hunt Nightblade too? That's right. Oh, okay, but Nightblade still fights vampires along with fighting the Cyprian Order? Correct. That sounds compelling. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. That had some style. Have you had time to build this? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. How many simulations is Asha having you build? I don't know, a dozen? A dozen? She likes to keep her skills honed. Can you tell me, like, does he have a love interest or anything? Oh, oh, oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter. A lone man wandering the earth looking for justice, never to love again. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. It's a good line. One of the finest ever written. All Why are we me? here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak. Shit. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, get back. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Matt, get back! Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now, I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! Oh, this is already so much. This is terrible! I need you to focus! We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart! Metaphorically. We are going to get Zinyak for this! Sure, for this, you know, because up until now Zinyak's crimes haven't been that bad. You're not taking this seriously! I'm trying to save our lives, Matt. I don't want to fight you, Nightblade.
him! Night! Anyone counting these kills? <laughs> it's done. Nightblade has fallen. Sorry things ended this way. <laughs> Typical writer. Can't stand honest critique. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. But we're not done yet. We're not. Not until you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The fight against the creatures of the night and the fellows that turned on him must continue, Matt. Don't let Franklin Knight have died in vain. So... You do understand. Matt, if it makes any difference... Yes? As the sole living world leader from planet Earth, this is probably within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, and licenses, possible merchandise, to the Nightblade property. What? On one condition. Of course. Never stop. Whoa! <laughs> 